Aloha everybody and welcome to the off-grid house here on the big island of Hawaii. Where we live in Pahoa, the majority of the homes are not connected to the water grid, so we have to rely on catching our own rainwater. And this is a system most folks out here have set up. A simple corrugated metal tank with a plastic liner and an opaque cover to keep the sun from shining in. This tank is about 3,000 gallons and it rarely goes empty for us. It rains pretty often out here. It costs about 1500 to put in. That was uh, about 15 years ago when we installed this thing. We clean it out once a year, maybe twice a year sometimes. And every so often we might uh, blast a little bleach in there, maybe a cap full or two to kind of purify any organisms or whatnot that might be getting into the water. This is where the water first enters our water catchment system. Rain falls off our corrugated metal roof, which is considered the cleanest roof surface for catching rainwater. Falls into our gutters and then down our downspout. You can see here we uh, attached a rubber coupling from the downspout to the plastic PVC pipe. And it comes down our wall, under the house, and up this tube into the water tank. This system is considered a wet conveyance system. That means the pipe that is under the ground is always wet. Water finds its own level. So pretty much there will always be water in this tank up to this point here. Alright, here's the input line of where the water comes off the roof and into the tank. You can see at the end here is a simple filtration system. It is pantyhose that we put at the end of the pipe that collects the debris that gets caught into our in our gutter. That is our last line of fence right there. And you can see it does get a lot of stuff, but at, by looking at the bottom of the tank, some stuff does get through. But overall, the water is pretty clear and clean. And as long as it's settling at the bottom, it's not getting collected in our drinking in our water for the house. Over here, you can see the beginning of the output pipe. At the bottom there is a foot valve that acts as a way for water to be sucked into the pipe by use of a pump. Comes out the pipe, over the tank, there's a shut off valve there. It comes underground and over here. You can see a propane tank here that we use for our hot water heater. And this is a primer that we have in our line right there. And under here is our pressure tank and next to it down at the bottom is a small flow jet pump. It's tiny if you think about home water pressurized systems. This pump is very efficient and allows us to use our solar panels to pressurize the water in our house. After the water goes down about 20 psi, the pressure tank kicks on, the pump pressurizes the tank and we have pressure. Here you can see some preliminary filters. Uh, these filters act as a way to clean the water even more. One is for coarse material, one is for uh, sort of pathogens and whatnot. And then it runs into this system of piping which goes into our hot water heater demand behind this little wall right there. Our, our water catchment system at its final source point, coming out of the tap inside our bathroom. You can see the pressure that pump delivers. It is full steam. All the amenities of a regular home while off-grid living. If you have any questions, just post below and I'll be happy to answer for you. In the meantime, happy water harvesting. Aloha.